friends today i'm here with five secrets of adobe photoshop cs6 here i will tell you some new features which is launched in adobe photoshop cs6 first i will start with some flower pictures drag them into photoshop you can also go with file open like this and let me take a new document for this any size uh, custom maybe default one only i just want to show you the new feature which there is in photoshop cs6 let me take the, this all these pictures into this one document okay now what i want to show you here is that you can apply effect to the group so for your convenience let me just uh, reduce the size according to my this document size okay this here maybe and this one this all the flower pictures i have taken some beautiful flower pictures Okay, now let me group this. I will select all the layers and Control G for Windows and uh, Command G for Mac. Now, uh, before applying the effect, I would like to show you that you can also give this blend effect to this group, like multiply, then overlay, whichever you want to select. So you can give the blend mode to a group also. So let me go back to normal mode okay now if you want to give any effect like bevel and emboss drop shadow any effect any effect you can apply this to the group which was not in cs5 see so you can apply see all layers there are effects so you can apply effects plus blend mode to a group now I will go to some other picture. Take a beautiful camel picture. The camel is full of decorated, the camel is very well decorated and it has accessories all over its body. So if you want to remove it, suppose you want to remove this area. So what we generally do is that we take spot healing tool like this one. I'm taking spot healing tool. Uh, increase the brush size as per my requirement and I'm just portraying it just painting over the area where I want to work and let's see what happens giving it time for rendering and let's see what happens uh, I'm not satisfied with this work so what I will do is I will first undo it for of course and then select patch tool okay and what is new in CX means Photoshop CS6 is that you can from here you can change the mode you can have content aware now what happens what this is you can select the area where you want to replace it you now Photoshop will not select the area for you now it will it is you who will select the area how like this let me zoom it a bit so that it is easier for me and for you also so I will first select the area which is this one let me just select it I will just roughly select it I will be not very careful with this okay I'm selecting it and yes it's very careless actually whatever yep now just drag it and suppose this one then I will work it later on See, it's very smooth now. It is not like that typical spot healing type. You are the one who is selecting the area and replacing it. At least you got the idea how the patch tool works. It is not very perfect, I know, but you can, when you will work, I hope this will be perfect because it will, you will take some time. 
Now I will take some other pictures. You can see a happy child maybe playing volleyball in a beach side. Okay, so what I will do with this picture, you may be wondering with. Now I will move. I will just play with move tool. Yes, now you are thinking, we all know what is move tool, right? So, yes, there is something new in it. So, what I will do is, I will take this content of it, move tool. I hope you have not heard about it. CS, CS6 has launched content aware move tool. What does it do? It, I will be again, I will be selecting the boy actually and I will be again careless about the selection. Just selecting the boy from that image. Okay. Now, if I want to move this child to some other location in the image, I will just drag it. As you can see, it is copying the boy, the child, and I will keep it here, somewhere here. Okay, place it. Now, give some time for the rendering. It has removed from this side to this side it appears as if there was no one you can see it has moved so well and there is also modes like move extent you can select extent adaptation strict means loose medium i will just select medium and then deselect it yes there is this area which i don't want now you can work with uh, which i have just in the previous document just in the previous uh, one of the secrets that is patch tool. I can work this thing. You just select and then click and drag. Yep, it's done. See? It's really cool. I mean, I, I, I love this tip among all the tips which I have seen. Now, I will show you the next uh, features in this document only. Now, in CS6, you will see if you go to filter, Yes, blur. There are three blur effects which are new in this Photoshop CSX. That is fills blur, iris blur and tilt shift. And there is one more thing which is new in this adaptive wild angle. You can work with that. Blur, fills blur. Now what happens in fills blur? You can move this axis wherever you want from where the blur effect actually will uh, monitor. You can increase, decrease. You can see what is this object, I mean, what is the scenery means. There is a boy, there is a beach side. You can increase and decrease it. Okay, if in, you can change the center of axis here. You can also increase or decrease from here also. Yes, I'm just moving my mouse and just increasing or decreasing it when you are satisfied with the blur effect just okay and if not cancel so this is the fills blur now what is iris blur what happens in iris blur is that you can select the area which will be not blurred and the areas which will be blurred you can also change the nodes like this you can Change your blur mode from here. Okay. How, what, how dense do you need your blur? You can also change this blending, this, the way it is fading, like if you want the fading till here, the blur fading till here, it will be till here. If you want it till here, it will be smooth. And then if you're satisfied, obviously, okay, or cancel. Okay. Now the third, uh, for the, for the third blur, that is tilt shift, I will take some other pictures so that it will be easier for you to understand it. I will take Indira Gandhi Bridge, Indira Gandhi Rameshwaram Bridge, which is in India. Yeah, it's a lovely picture. You can just increase the size and then go to filter, blur, tilt shift, blur. Now, what happens is you can shift the area where you don't want to blur it just above this line rotate it place the 
area and then just change the nodes. It's amazing. Just play around with the from here. You can also from you can obviously manage from here. You can also uh, distortion. You can increase or decrease it. Then there is symmetric distortion. Okay. So this is how it will look. See, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Now the last one, as it is said, save the best for the last. So. What I will do here, let me show here only for once. Uh, suppose if I have taken any blur, like uh, filled blur, you will see blur effects here. Now what is blur effects? For that, let me take some other picture. I will take actually two pictures. I will take a picture of a girl, a pecky girl and this picture. Here, let me just crop it a bit. C, you know, C is for crop. Just that I just want to re remove the white background. Now this picture I have taken from Fricka.com. I just searched it and got this image. Okay. Now filter, as you have seen in the previous, mm, this uh, just before I have taken filter, I will apply some filter here. Just a little bit filter. Okay, and then I will go to blur effects. Now, light bokeh. You will see some amazing bokeh effects here. Just have a look at it. This is too much, I guess. I will just reduce it to a little bit. And then the main function of this blur effect is that you have to play with this light range you have to keep it close the white the black and the white yes just move it to little bit black and just keep the white node also close to black one and we're here i will also add some bokeh color You just need to adjust till you are satisfied. Okay, so this is the one which I'm okay with. Give time for rendering. It's rendered. And uh, whatever image you want to give, I and mean, this is just an example you can work with. You can work on your own, however, in whatever style you want to work with. I'm placing a baby girl image here. This is how it works. So, you got to know new some new features of CX, uh, Photoshop CS6. Today I am with only five features, and maybe I will be with more some tips with some new features uh, in some time. So till then, see you. Take care. Bye.